What's up, YouTube? Um, with the upcoming DLCs in Birmingham and Vegas, uh, I wanted to take a moment to talk about how to practice your mulligans and the importance and value of doing so. Um, the mulligan in Lurkana, or uh, as they call it, uh, altering your hand, um, is one of the first things you're going to do every game, and it's one of the most important things that you do every game. In Lorcana, the ability to alter your hand and uh, discard up to seven cards from your hand and redraw seven cards from the top of your deck uh, is a really, really important and powerful tool uh, to ensure that you have the right tools to start the game. Um, different decks have kind of different mulligan or different altering strategies. Um, and we're not going to cover that today, but uh, what I'm going to show you today is how I practice uh, mulligans or, or altering. Um, I use a tool called dreamborn.inc. I'm sure many people are familiar um, with this tool. Uh, it's a, a deck building website. But one of the things that I love about uh, Dreamborn is there's an ability to practice your mulligans. And I, I think a lot of people don't know that you have this ability um, just in Dreamborn. So uh, I thought it would be really cool to show people how to do that. So in Dreamborn, if you're looking at your list, uh, if you come to the menu drop down, there's this uh, drop down that it's called something that to my mind isn't uh, named perfectly, but it says simulate. And when you click simulate, it takes you to this page and you click on new game. Uh, let me that is not like fully showing up on here. Important that it does for this. All right, so uh, it comes to this page and it deals you seven cards. And from here, um, you can practice a mulligan. Um, and you can just do this over and over and over again. And I think, um, you know, we can talk about the math of like how to, you know, make sure that you have a one drop or make sure that you have your curve and the percentages to find X, Y, Z. And I think that's really useful for a lot of people, um, you know, and, and I think that's useful background when you're mulliganing um, and when you're deck building even more so. But uh, one of the things that I think is really important um, is just practicing it, getting the feel for it, and getting the feel for how your deck operates. So this is just a pretty standard Ruby Amethyst list. Um, and we're gonna practice a few mulligans, maybe uh, 10 here. So we don't have a one drop. We do have Flynn and Sisu, which is pretty great. We've got Library, which uh, could be really good. We don't need Snake here, right? If we're gonna try to do the Flynn line, we don't need Snake on two. Uh, we do have a rabbit and we have a goat and a crab, but really what we're looking for is probably a one drop. So um, here, and I, I don't know if these mulligans are 100% are accurate. Uh, I definitely make mistakes in my mulligan, but uh, library could be really strong uh, early game. Um, but if we are working on this, you know, Flynn Sisu line, um, I don't play a lot of uninkable, so I can feel comfortable mulliganing five and not worrying about mulliganing into too many uh, uninkables. So that's the mulligan. We didn't hit a one drop. Um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, you know, we have B prep, which uh, against green might get ripped from us. Um, but that's how I like to, you know, just practice it. So then we draw another seven and we practice. Um, we got Flynn. We don't have Sisu. We don't have a one drop again. So, uh, you know, I think crab really early can be good depending on the matchup. Uh, a lot of times I like having crab even more than fox, right? If we're into steel song, we want to have that one drop um, that we can like trade into uh, or not trade, but hit into a Cindy. So I would be tempted just to mulligan everything except for a crab here. Um, we got a one drop. So now, you know, we can ink box and play Chernabog. We can play Flynn on two. And then we've got Crab, um, you know, to be able to remove a Daisy if we need. Um, obviously, Broom is probably the better one drop here or even Olaf. But as Steel Song kind of moves away from Daisy a little bit, uh, I've kind of moved away from the one three and I'm playing Chernabog and Broom again. 
new game. Uh, and you just do this over and over and over again. You practice. We're definitely sending uh, B prep back. Uh, I'm going to send Elsa back. I'm going to send, uh, I might keep Castle actually. Um, and keep Mim because, actually I might even just keep those just because it's ink and we'll just send B prep back. So now we can ink Maui, play Broom, ink <clears throat> Elsa, play Flynn, ink uh, Mim, play Sisu, and next turn play Castle, right? Um, that's the value of kind of practicing this over and over and over again is to kind of get used to the mulligan so you're not making these decisions for the first time when you're in uh, a, uh, a tournament. Here, we're looking for that one drop. We don't have Sisu. Uh, we do have a snake, so uh, we'll keep a snake. Uh, I'm going to send everything else back. Uh, keep Sisu for a turn three play. We get our one drop. Unfortunately, we get into two B preps, which is, you know, some of the danger of, of mulliganing more aggressively. Um, I could have mulliganed a little bit more conservatively. Let's take a look at one more um, deck that I think has um, a pretty tough mulligan sometimes. Um, so this is my uh, red blue deck. I don't recommend playing the version that I'm playing. I am playing 26 uninkables. <laughs> Um, which means our mulligan is really, really important. So when we come to simulate, uh, we can just start practicing this. All right, with this deck, I'm looking for a jump on two, and I'm looking for a turn or a turn three four ink play. Um, that is my biggest uh, thing here. Quill, we want to keep Quill so that we have backup ramp on turn four if we don't draw anything else. Um, we're just gonna ink every or uh, mulligan everything else. Um, we got an ice block on one. We've got how far on turn four. So that's what I'm looking for with this deck. I want uh, to get ice block out on one. Um, I'm gonna ink Maui. I'm gonna play ice block. Next turn, I'm gonna ink brawl. I'm gonna play Tipo. So now uh, we're at three ink. The next turn, I'm gonna ink something hopefully that we drew so I can hold on to fishbone and play how far, right? My goal with this deck is to get to six as soon as possible so I can play Medusa. When you're practicing a mulligan, that's all you're looking for. You're just looking for that first one, two, three, four turns. Um, here, we've got some ink. Uh, we've got how far. We've got one jump. We've got our, our early... Um, curve. We've got a turn one play with develop and ice block. We can keep develop for ink because it's great ink and we've got an ice block on turn one. The only thing I'm going to send back just to try to get more inkables is Sisu and one jump. All right, we got develop. Great. So turn one, we ink develop, we play ice block. Turn two, we ink, or sorry, if turn one will ink. Uh, Maleficent and play Ice Block. Turn two, we can ink a develop and we can play one jump. Now we're at three ink. The next turn, hopefully we'll draw another inkable. We play how far, boom, we're at six ink. That's all we're looking for with this deck is we're looking to get to six ink. And if we can get the one jump and how far, boom, we're there. Next game. We've got Popsicle and develop on one. We've got one jump on two. We've got Tipo on two. Uh, we're just going to send the Sisu back and try to get another inkable. Perfect. We've got Maleficent. Uh, we can ink Maleficent. We can play Popsicle. So we've got an item on board. Uh, we'll draw, maybe get another in inkable. We can ink develop on turn two. We can play one jump. Now we're at three. Uh, we'll be able to, if nothing else, ink Maleficent, play how far, right? That's all we're looking to do. And so... That's one of the things I love about Dreamborn is this ability to come in to look at your deck and then just practice this over and over and over and over and over again. Um, sometimes on a day of a tournament, I'm not even going to try to jam any last minute games and I'm just going to come in. I'm going to look at my deck. I'm going to practice a few mulligans, get that in my head um, so that I'm ready to go going into the tournament. I hope this was helpful um, ahead of uh, Vegas and Birmingham. Good luck at the DLCs. Uh, I'll be in Vegas. If you see me, feel free to say hi. We'll see you in the next one.